Hello, everyone. Thanks for being with us. I am Romina Reyes, specialist in the Chile's training program in the Tourism Board Office. Today, it's time to talk about adventure. Chile has been recognized in many opportunities for being a great destination for adventure travelers. So let's see why. Chile, the place where the impossible is possible. Chile is where the desert colors the sky. And it's also where stone giants live. It's the place where the streets are made with wood and where three continents meet, America, Antarctica, and Oceania. It's located at the very end of the world. But despite this uh, and our geography, we are widely connected uh, country. There are, in this moment, there are 18 airlines flying from, uh, from Chile and connecting us with the rest of the world. Santiago, the capital, is located in the middle of the country and also the place where is the main international airport. But you can fly from there to every city in Chile, including Rapa Nui Island. Santiago, uh, where I live, is pretty close to the mountain, less than one hour or just one hour and a half from the beach. That's why one of the reasons to visit Chile. Why Chile? Because you can see a beautiful sunrise in the mountain range and then enjoy the mountain snow and that same day, see the sunset on the coast. Another reason is travel north and discover the windows of the universe or feel the immensity of our ancient nature or even explore the south the south end and sail between ice giants. This nature make, uh, makes Chile a unique place, a place where the impossible is possible. But what to do in Chile? That is really a good question. With more than 4,000 kilometers of land means many activities to do. So what to do in Chile? Just let me tell you some of the most adventure activities you will find in Chile. And one of the those is the astrotourism. Astrotourism in Chile is not just for science. You will experience a journey to the stars in Chile, observe constellations, planets, shooting stars, and all manner of celestial bodies in the spectacular Chilean sky, the clearest in the entire entire southern hemisphere. Chile actually enjoys more than 300 uh, clear days per year and with little or no light pollution in the north. So conditions are ideal for stargazing on their open skies. For a truly close encounter with the planet, you can visit one of the many astronomical observatories open to visitors. We have uh, actually 27 astronomical uh, observatories just for tourists. And this year, before I forgot, and this year for third consecutive time, we will be part of a new solar eclipse that will be seen throughout the country in different intensity. Another activity that actually uh, Chile is very recognized is our national park. Discover unique, uh, unique native species in the forest, star flaps, glaciers, and dozens of other distinctive environment which makes, which, uh, which make up uh, Chile's system of protected wilderness area. You can visit them on foot on horseback or even by bike, but uh, remember that their care and preservation is vital for the country. In total, almost 20% of Chile's 
extensive territory is currently protected between the ocean and the mountain from the world driest desert to the Patagonia glaciers. There's a tremendously rich variety for nature lovers. And we cannot talk about national parks without talking about the road of parks. The road of park is a vision for the conservation in Chile. For the conservation actually of Chilean Patagonia from Tonkin conservation. These scenic roads run 1,700 miles between Portmont and Cape Horn. It's a whole red line you will see, you will see in the map. And spanning 17 national parks, protecting 28 million acres. And it's also an economic impulse for more than 60 surrounding communities to benefit from the conservation. The road of parks encompasses one third of Chile, protecting the incomparable beauty of the end of the world. And what you can do here in the road of park or actually in any, every national park, the easy, the best way to uh, see Chile and enjoy uh, is hiking and trekking. And you can you know, enjoy its magnificent landscape from within. You just need to put on your most comfortable walking shoes and head off on a real adventure. From north to south, you can find wonderful places to explore. Trails and national parks unique in the world with trails of all levels of difficulty. Some examples or where you will find good places for trekking or hiking is in the north, the Lauca National Park located in the extreme north. In the center is um, the La Campana National Park or El Morado Natural Monument. In the south is Huerquehue National Park or Villarrica National Park. And in Patagonia, of course, the well-known Torres del Paine National Park. And then we find adventure tourism. Our privileged uh, nature provide us different spots to live adventure in many levels. That is why Chile has been recognized in five times in a row as the best destination for South America for adventure tourism. And in four times in a row has the world best adventure destination. Uh, so the adventure never end in the country. And let me talk about some of the activities you could do here. Rafting and, I'm sorry, rafting and kayaking. Among a green forest, lakes, fjords and inlets, you can experience adrenaline field adventures on the river of central and southern Chile. Tumbling down from the Andes to the Pacific Ocean, this deep, uh, this deep uh, powerful torrents offer accelerating and challenging rapids and are simply ideal for rafting. And one of the best ways to enjoy Chile's super natural environment is paddling with specialist guides and equipment. And you'll find more than one 1,200 rivers of different complexity to choose from, and calm lakes and lagoons with breathtaking surroundings reflected in their crystal clear waters. High speed walking is another great activity. Here, here is an overwhelming sight walking between ice and in glaciers will take you to a universe of new sensation. Just don't forget to put uh, crampons on your boots and carry your walking stick to advance firmly on the road. 
you just walk through the ancient frozen ice formation hidden in the Torres del Paine and San Rafael Lagoon National Park. 8% of Chile concentrates the best amount of glaciers in Latin America. So high tail walking is a really good adventure to do in Chile. And another good thing to do is horse bike riding. Just enjoy a quiet route or a thrilling flat out uh, gallop. You can explore in its many trails and gorge on horseback. It's one of the greatest pleasures of travelers in Chile. And you can do it in the, in the whole country. You can ride through the dunes and in the great north of Chile. And there are few rides as thrilling as bareback expeditions through the volcanoes and craters of Rabanui. And of course, in the south, there are many destinations able to ride like uh, Chiloe and Patagonia. Horse bike riding is a um, good activity you will find in all the country. And of course, with uh, more than 4,000 kilometers of coast, able for you to explore. So surfing is one of the most uh, active activities uh, you can find here. Just ride some amazing waves in this true surfer's paradise. Actually, in the central area of the country, Punta de Lobos in Pichilemo has been baptized uh, the world surfing capital. It welcomes adrenaline junkies all over the world with waves of over four meters in height and currents that provide enviable conditions for surfing. And if you are not uh, just a junkie for adventure, but you enjoy being surrounded by nature, uh, fly fishing is one of the most uh, activities you will uh, find in Chile wade into the clear water, listen to the joint bird song and enjoy a magical change in the atmosphere from the moment you cast your first light. Consider it has one of the oldest sports in the world and renowned has an effective therapy for stress, especially for this day. Fishing in Chile is a variable valve for the soul. So, and actually, in Patagonia, you'll find um, luxury lotus located on the very shores of mighty rivers like the Simpson and Baker River. So you can go and try your luck in their many pools and enjoy a puzzle with the salmon swimming upstream to some. As you can see, the experience are infinite as our skies are. And, but before we said goodbye, just let me tell you about our e-learning program. Our e-learning program destination about, uh, about Chile is placed in Travel Agent Academy. So if you want to be more prepared about the country, just go to www.chiletravelexpert.com and for official website for information where you will find protocols and official guides to ensure trust for your traveler, just visit trademills.chile.travel for all the latest information regarding our tourism industry or visit chilereports.cl for official government information. So, Thank you so much for joining me and goodbye.